What's up, Buttercups? Happy Saturday, y'all. JC in the house with a quick update that involves an exclusive email exchange that BBC News released between Stockton Rush, the CEO of OceanGate, and leading deep water exploration specialist, Rob McCullum, from back in 2018, that shows multiple warnings over safety of the Titan being repeatedly dismissed. Now, in this email sent by Robert McCollum warning Stockton Rush, he says, I have given everyone the same honest advice, which is that until a sub is class tested and proven, it should not be used for commercial deep dive operations. As much as I appreciate entrepreneurship and innovation, you are potentially putting an entire industry at risk. So, I implore you to take every care in your testing and sea trials and to be very, very conservative. Stockton Rush replies a few days later saying, I have grown tired of industry players who try to use a safety argument to stop innovation and new entrants from entering their small existing market. Since Guillermo and I started OceanGate, we have heard the baseless cries of you are going to kill someone way too often. I take this as a serious personal insult. The very next day, McCollum's email said, I think you are potentially placing yourself and your clients in a dangerous dynamic. Ironically, in your race to Titanic, you are mirroring that famous catch cry, she is unsinkable. However, the giant key factor here is that the Titanic crashed into an iceberg. This Titan submersible did not. And I feel this was greed and arrogance. Shown by Stockton Rush's refusal to listen to others' valuable and professional input that ultimately led to the demise of five souls. Nobody told Stockton Rush to stop his design or shut down the submersible creation and building completely. They told him to get it certified and abide by the safety regulations and industry standards that everyone else abides by. The fact that Stockton Rush pushed back and ignored them says everything 